Hi, my name is Ben. You're watching Image Talk. This video is meant for English beginners. And today, we'll talk about five images. If you need, there are subtitles available. And the entire transcript is on benslanguagelab.com. All you need to do is watch, listen, and enjoy. Let's start with this picture here. This is a picture of someone's desk. This here is their desk. Everything on it is on their desk. Here, I'm sitting at my desk as well. You, you can't see it, but right here is my desk. Just like this one, except for it looks very different. This desk is interesting. It looks a little bit old or classic because there's a lot of things that look a little old. This sort of clock thing is a bit older, right? Or here it looks like there's a little typewriter or some kind of old computer, maybe for looking up simple, processing simple documents. Right, for writing something, hello, hello, right? They might write something simple. This is a basic lamp, which is has its arm going up here, and then it has the, the, uh, the head of the lamp just to shine light down on these papers, on the documents. There's a, what looks like to be a calendar on the wall. The calendar has things like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right, then Saturday, Sunday, and you might have like, you can check off the days, right, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right, you can, that's, that's what a calendar is. Um, there's also some pictures, some simple little pictures up here on the wall. This one looks like it has a person in it, it looks like. There's um, a lot of interesting things in this picture. We also see a little holder for some pens or pencils of some kind. I've got a very similar thing here on my desk. Eh, put it back. Um, what else? Oh, we have a clock up here. And we can see some of the numbers are a little bit messed up, right? This should be six. Let's see, let's fix this number six. There, oh, that's humongous. Um, can I make that smaller, please? So we're on 50, let's go to one. There we go. Let's fix that number six there. Fix this number five a little bit. There we go. That's better, right? Let me make it a little bit bigger. Let's go to a... Ah! No! Come on now. I'm trying to make a video here. There we go. Two and one. That looks better, right? That's a little more easy to read. All right, let's put this back to 50-ish. I'm going to go to 43 now. Cause that's what I'm feeling like, huh? Um, back to the desk though, there's also some drawers here. You pull open drawers to look inside. You can put stuff in them. They're very useful. Um, I don't have any drawers on my desk though. I have no drawers. Here we have what looks to be two drawers. Um, and then over here in the back, there's a cup. Um, looks like a teacup of some kind and more papers. Right, this is some sort of book or magazine or something on the, on the other desk. But I really don't see a whole lot else in this picture. It's pretty simple. It's a, a desk in kind of an old style. And it, I thought it was a cool image. So I hope that you thought it was kind of cool too. Let's go to the next one here, which is very, very different. This is almost a... This looks like a digital art sort of look into New York City. Digital art is what you do on a computer, and it often has straighter lines like this, right? And so we see this guy has a very sort of straight line and his shadow, this is the shadow on his back, right? This is why it's all black, because he has a shadow here. Looks not real, right? It looks very fake but it also doesn't look like somebody drew it. So you might call this digital art. 
What I thought was interesting about this picture was the color in it. There's no color except for yellow, right? There's just this sort of yellowy orange for the taxi, right? These taxis here, there's three taxis we can see. There's also yellow in the light of this car. And then there's yellow here on the traffic light, or the stoplight, which is the entire color of this, of this picture. And so I thought it was a really interesting look. It looks cool because we can see the city, right? Here's the tall buildings. Here's the street. Here's the cars. And there's even people. But it's very, there's no color, right? There's no sky. There's no, um, bu the buildings are colorful. They have diff like browns and blues and glass. And you can see different things, but not in this picture. It's very simple in terms of color. And that was just kind of cool to me. Like I said, these are taxis. If you've never um, used a taxi in New York City, they're very famous. They're well known because New York is in lots of movies. It's a very common movie location. Actually, just yesterday, I watched a movie set in New York. I don't live in New York. I watched a movie that was set there that happened in New York. And so I thought this was an interesting picture because of that. But there's not really anything else to talk about. It's relatively simple. So I think we'll go on to the next picture, next image here. Another picture with yellow in it. We see these yellow houses down here. But I like this picture be just because of its vibe, its feeling, right? Just it looks interesting. When you feel something sort of in your heart and it feels kind of cool like that, we call that the, the vibe or it just feels sort of neat, right? Um, and so I liked the vibe of this picture. It's, we're on like a hill, right? So this is a hill right here. A mountain kind of goes up like that, right? Mountains are really tall, but hills are a little bit shorter and they're kind of a little bit more movement like this. So this is a hill here. And it looks like we are standing on a hill right now. Together, we are on a hill looking down onto this little village. I wouldn't call it a city, right? It's not really a city because it's not very big. It's just a few houses. So I'd call it more of a, of a village or maybe a town, right? Those are some words that you could use to describe a smaller place, right? Um, and this village looks to be in a very um, beautiful place. It looks to be a little bit cold, right? We see there's, there's some sort of cloudy, maybe fog here. There's some fog up here which is, looks pretty thick. That makes it hard to see, right? When you, when there's fog in the air, it's hard to see where things are. We also see some light coming through right here. We see little bits of light. And it, so maybe the sun is rising, right? When the sun rises above the horizon, right? We get some, the sunrise and then light comes off of it. Right, and then the light comes and it hits the town, and as people are waking up, it feels a lot more like morning time, right? And so I think it might be morning in this little village, and the fog is going away, and people are going to start their day. So that's what I think about when I see this picture, which is pretty cool. It looks like a nice place to be or to walk around and explore. We also see something here that has some, some what looks like steam or smoke coming out of it. So it looks like a chimney. A chimney is the thing on tops of houses. So these are all little chimneys. Um, and when you have a fire inside of your house, like in a fireplace, so you have a little fire coming in, in your uh in your fireplace here. Here's a, here's a fire. 
then the smoke is going to go up through and out of a chimney, right? And this is where it goes, right? That's what a chimney is, this part here, so that the the smoke and the steam and the soot doesn't go inside your house. That wouldn't be very nice. You want it to go outside so that you don't breathe it in. And so it looks like there's something here with a lot of, of smoke coming out of it. So that's this image. Let's move on to image number four for today. This is image number four. And here we have another black and white picture. Black and white, right? Black and white is the, is the style of this photography. When you can't see com the color of something. Um, and that's when something's in black and white. I would change my camera to be black and white if I could, but I can't do that very quickly. It'd be cool though. Um, and so this is a black and white picture at an airport. There's an airplane here. This is a big airplane, what looks to be, um, I think probably a Boeing 747 is the, is the common type of airplane. And they're huge, they're really big, they're expensive, right? They cost a lot of money to build and to own and to use, which is why it's kind of expensive to travel and other reasons. So we, we are here in an airport and we see this big uh, uh, airplane and we're looking out of a window, right? So we're inside right now, we're inside the airport However, this person is looking outside at the airplane. They can see the plane through the window, right? I mean, this does look like a lot of windows, plural, with one, two, three, four, five, six, but you can say window to refer to the entire thing. This is all the window, if you want. We also see here there's some luggage Right, this is, this is uh, their travel stuff, their clothes, maybe some gifts or something. And so that's their luggage. And then here we see the uh, thing that you, you walk out of. So in the uh, air, airport, you need to get onto the airplane. And so they have these, what I believe are called gangways, I think is the word gangway and the gangway connect so here's the airport the gangway connects to the airport and then connects to the plane and that way you can walk through the gangway down into the airplane without having to jump or to climb up some stairs the other way that you might get on a plane is if they put out like a um a little staircase out here right to get on or off and you can go boop, 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 and get into the plane. But it is easier to just come through this thing and then get onto the airplane that way. Um, and so that's what this is. We also see some other stuff in the background, right? There's some signs, some lights and things. Here's another one of those gangways that looks really, really long. It looks huge. We also see a funny looking airplane here. Um, and what looks to be some sort of, of tool for the air, air, uh, the workers like who work there, but that's this image of, a, of an airport. And I hope that you learned something interesting from that. Let's go on to the final image here. We have one more image that I thought was really cool. It's of an octopus playing the saxophone and like, come on, what's not to love? He's an octopus, right? This is an octopus. And he's playing the saxophone. Right? This is the saxophone. That's so cool. Octopuses can't play the saxophone. They're, they don't have actual hands, but he does. He's got a hand here, but he's also got his tentacles. He, his tentacles around here, which have little suckers on them, right? These are sort of suction cups sort of things. A sucker is when you sort of suck in air and you can't pull something off, right? It gets suction is that 
concept. It's not sticking to it. It's not glue. But instead, there's no air. And so you might use a suction cup to stick something to a wall in, for example, uh, the bathroom. We use suction in lots of different ways. Um, but he uses suction to grab things like that and then hold on with suction. He's an octopus. The octopus is also wearing cool glasses. He's wearing sunglasses, actually. These are, these are normal glasses, and he's got sunglasses on. And he's playing, like I said, the saxophone. That's this kind of instrument. A saxophone is usually pretty big and heavy, right? We see it, it goes up and then all the way down and then all the way back up to create a really large instrument. It's very big. They have to come apart into multiple pieces, right? So you can usually take off, take off this part here, this comes apart, and then this part comes apart. So you have one, two, three big pieces to store your saxophone. There are also all of these different keys that you play. So he has the little buttons here, right? This is, you see these buttons on, on this? Those are, you can call, call them keys. And when you press on a key, something closes, right? Down here, these are little sections on the, the instrument on, on the saxophone that when you press the button, they, they close, right? It's like that when you press the button, they close. When you open the button, they open. And that's how you can play the saxophone like this. And the cool octopus is also wearing a shirt, right? He's got sort of what looks to be a collared shirt. So this is a collar, right? Your collar is this part of your shirt. Um, my shirt doesn't really have a collar. This is, is a collar, but it's so small that we call this a t-shirt. He's wearing a shirt with an actual collar. And so we call it a collared shirt. Um, oops, sorry, I just punched my microphone. Um, it's also a very colorful image. In the last episode, we talked about vibrant colors. And I would say that this is a vibrant image. It's pretty, there's colors and there's brightness and there's, you can almost hear it as well, right? You can kind of hear the picture because he's playing the saxophone, he's got cool glasses on, and he's probably playing a little bit of jazz music of some kind. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there for today. I think we've done enough of image talk for today. We talked about five pretty cool images today. We started here with this desk, talking about some of the stuff on the desk and a little bit about the image. Then we looked at this um, digital art of New York City, where there's only one color. And then we talked about this interesting little village with a bunch of chimneys and fog and the sunrise as we see the sun coming through the fog here. Then we looked at this picture of an airport and an airplane and we talked about this thingy to get on the plane that I think is called the gangway, I think. And then finally, we looked at this really cool um, jazz musician octopus guy. And so, this is the end of Image Talk. I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe learned a couple of new words. Remember, all of the transcripts are on benslanguagelab.com if you need. But I'll see you again in the next video, so make sure you're subscribed. Bye-bye. I'll see you then.